All right, today we're checking out what I'm going to call Air Gun of the Year 2024. This is a Hatsan Factor Sniper RC Long. These will be available for pre-order at Pyramid. There's a couple of things I love about the Sniper L. One of them is the aesthetics. It looks like a real sniper rifle. It feels like I'm carrying a Dragonov around. And the second thing is that it shoots like a real sniper rifle. This thing is extremely accurate. It's as accurate as a gun that costs twice the price. As well, it's tunable. You can turn the power up. You can turn the power down. It actually goes up and down, which some of these guns that are coming out lately that say they're adjustable, they're actually not. This one is, you have an adjustable hammer spring tension adjuster, which is what I use to fine tune for my pellet. As well, it has an externally adjustable regulator and a transfer port with three adjustable settings. This thing is shooting dime sized groups at 70 yards with 25.4 grain, 22 caliber FX pellets, and they're going 930 feet per second. By the way, I always tell everyone, let's tune our pellets to 890. Well, it looks like everyone's been shooting these 25.39 grain JSBs or the 25.4 grain FX around 920, 930 feet per second. So that's my new favorite speed for these heavier pellets. In this video, we'll give you an up-close look at the Hatsan Factor Sniper RC, as well as show you the accuracy and power out to 70 yards away. So we'll get into all the hardcore stats, facts, and figures. But first, let's do some shooting. And by the way, RC stands for a regulated carbon. If you didn't notice, we have a giant extra-large carbon fiber bottle on the front. For more information, just check out Pyramid Air. If you use the pin comment to find your way, I'll make 5%. Your single shot tray is going to go in like this, but it's much easier to just load your pellet into the breech without the single shot tray. There's plenty of room. So you guys, I came out here to adjust the hammer spring tension wheel to take me to 890, but then uh, after a little research, I found that most people are tuning their 25.4 grain pellets to 920 to 930. So we got 923 feet per second. Let's call that good. Yeah, we're creeping up where we want to be. I'm gonna go one more click up. That's it, boy. I am going one more click back down to where I was when I was at nine uh, at 919 or whatever that was. Because I don't want to go over 930. I don't want to be between 920 and 930. Actually, they're shooting the scout 30 caliber right now at 939 feet per second. There it is. I'm gonna call that good in the hood. We're good in the hood. All right, we got a breezy day, so this is not official accuracy testing, but I got my 25.4 grain, and I'm set up out here at a random distance. Let's see, 38 yards away, going for 35. Right? This is a sniper rifle gun. That's it right there. All right, we're definitely close to the paper now. Use this for our experimental bullseye. I'm loving it. Taking another shot just for the heck of it. Cool. All right, I'm ready to start some groups. We're gonna call that sighted in. Boy, even though I was nervous, we just annihilated that bullseye. I'm gonna click, one click up. Sometimes when you click up, it clicks over too. Wow, that was like a better group than the other one. Dang, that was me, you guys. Let's do one more through the hole just to make up for it. We definitely got a little change in our point of impact, but it could be the wind again. It is a windy day. Yeah, we're going through the same hole. Bam, I mean, if you want to call that a POI change. I'm gonna go ahead and I fill back up, see where my point of impact is. We knew that it was a little bit to the right. Same hole. 
same hole. Same hole. Damn it. Let's just go look. All right, I did screw up that last one, but it's close enough. Let's go check it out. Boy, this one would have been a quarter of a dime if I would have got it through that, that last one through the hole. Darn it. Less talking, more concentrating next time. You guys look that 10 shot group that I was so disappointed about is still a dime center to center. And these two right here are basically like half of a dime for sure. I don't know what happened there. Guy got hit by some shrapnel. But yeah, these are just teeny groups. Now, spoiler alert, you guys. I shot the same exact group on my first try at 70 yards away. And I think I might have done a little better group at 50 yards. So we'll get to that in a second. But first, here's an up-close look at the Hat Sand Factor RC Sniper Long, as well as some hardcore stats. All right, like I said, this is available for pre-order now. It's going to be coming in 22, 25 caliber, 30 caliber, and 3.579 millimeter. So it's going to be pretty awesome in 3.57, I'm sure, with this sort of accuracy. This 22 caliber we're looking at today is capable of 81 foot-pounds. So a normal 22 would be around 30. Just give you a little bit of an idea. You can shoot anything you want out of this gun. 115 foot-pounds in 25 caliber, 157 foot-pounds in 30 caliber, and in 357, it's going to have 169 foot-pounds. Wow. This giant carbon fiber bottle right here is 700 cc's. It's got a full 300 bar fill or 4300 PSI. And in 22 caliber, it's going to give you 100 perfect regulated shots. 80 shots in 25 caliber and 70 shots in 30 and 357. It's got dual pressure gauges so you can see your regulator pressure and your tank pressure. As I said before, the regulator is also adjustable, but... You mainly want to tune with your hammer spring tension adjuster. If you were turning it way up or turning it way down, then you may want to adjust your regulator setting, but it's probably best to leave that alone. I was super surprised this Quiet Energy Shroud does everything you need for sound suppression. This thing is quiet, even putting out a massive amount of power. So the way that works is the barrel goes within two inches of the end of the shroud. It's a long dog. And there's just like a one inch gap where I guess it strips the air and pushes it backwards and then it comes out the porting and you don't hear nothing. The Factor Sniper RC has a fully aluminum frame, all aluminum trigger guard. This thing is well made. As well, it has an awesome highly adjustable mil spec telescoping stock. So we'll go over that in a little bit. But it's got an adjustable cheek piece, adjustable for your length of pull, all kinds of stuff. They say this is designed for comfort and outstanding long-range accuracy, and they are not joking. This thing fits perfectly in my rest, feels great to shoot, and yeah, it's like you can shoot pretty much effortless, pellet on pellet. It's got a side lever charging handle, which is reversible from right to left, so you can set this up for a left-hand shooter. As well, the muzzle is fitted with one-half UNF threads, so you can add any standard air gun moderator. Magazine capacity in 22 is going to hold 21 rounds each. 19 rounds each in 25, 16 rounds each in 30, and 13 rounds in 357. That's some high capacity. And what those foot pounds translate into is basically you can go 1,050 feet per second in 22, 1,075 feet per second in 25 caliber. This is up to. It's going to be shooting 30 caliber 940 feet per second. And the 357 is going to be going 970 feet per second. That's crazy. Two-stage adjustable quattro trigger. As well, the trigger shoe is vertically and horizontally adjustable. It's got a mil-spec telescoping buttstock with built-in folding monopod. I'm sure you've noticed the awesome textured ergonomic pistol grip. Works awesome for shooting. Has an all-aluminum frame, and it's got the dual scope rail, so you can have 11 millimeter dovetails, or you can use full-size Weaver Picatinny scope rings. It's got Picatinny accessory rails on the side as well. It looks like it has some M-lock slots built in there. So plenty of rails all over this thing for your accessories, including in the front for your bipod. There's actually two rails underneath there. Manual safety, quick disconnect foster fitting built right into the gun so there's no fill probe required. Comes with a single shot adapter as well as a foster fill adapter with an extended sleeve, which comes in handy. Got a multi-tool for adjusting your regulator. And this says two magazines. Mine came with three, but let's just say you're going to get two magazines. 
has an overall length of 40 to 43 inches. I guess that's depending if the buttstock's extended. And it only weighs 7.9 pounds. Very awesome. All right, let's get back to the shooting. And this thing will allow you to lock your buttstock into place. So that's awesome. And then if you turn these at the same time, then your length of pull will come out a little bit. But then of course you also have this. You basically loosen that right there and you'll be able to adjust your cheek rest up and down. Oh, that was a perfect bullseye I held over. We're running out of air. I'm sorry, this is so fun. I need to stop, I need to like, look at that shot right there. This is still 38 yards away. Shooting a Birchwood Casey dueling tree that I've had in my garage for about five years. This is the first time I used it. 38 yards away, and I should have. Yeah, see, I need to be able to unstick them. All right. We're... That was so direct. Oh my gosh. Someone put these stickers on like five or six years ago, so they're on there. Man, another one. Wait till you guys see when we flip these back over. I'm gonna hit this one on the edge, see what happens. It's gonna basically look like that one right there when we flip them back over. Amazing. All right, if you guys wondered where I ended up with my tune, basically right there. I'm exactly four lines up from the minus end. All right, it's a new day. We got almost zero wind, and we're set up way out there in a very special. 51 yards away. All right, aim small, miss small. We'll see if I can hit that hole first. Wow, look at that, same hole. Going in the same hole at 50 yards. Boy, I was wiggling on that one and it went right where I wiggled to. Dang, I think that's still a dime-sized group. There it is, that's a good shot right there. There it is, you guys, freaking nailing it. So that's just our first two sample groups. I think you guys get the idea at 50 yards. We got almost the same groups as 35. The trigger was a little stiffer than I'm used to on precision shooter guns. It came in at just under 11 ounces, whereas a lot of the guns that we shoot these days are two or three ounce trigger pulls. The Quattro trigger is fully adjustable, so you can make that thing as light as you want. Here's a look at the charging handle. It's got a nice giant handle to grab onto, but all you have to do is barely touch it, and it springs out by itself. You just pull it back a little bit. It's got a smooth cocking action. And now for some long range shooting. I set up on a very calm day, all the way out to a very special 68 yards away. We're still shooting the 25.4 grain FX. And I did not try this over and over. All I did was skip my coffee that morning. I set up and I did it just as you're seeing here. This is my first try. These are my first two groups at 68 yards. All right, I'm gonna bump the power up on my scope to 16 from 12. Then we'll do our parallax to, what does that say, 70? There we go. All right, let's see where we hit. Actually, I'm pretty curious. I'm gonna shoot that again. There it is, straight in line. Good sign. So it should be as simple as Clicking down. All right, seventy yards away. We should be on the on the bullseye. Seventy-five. 
Same hole, 70 yards. Same hole again, 70 yards. Holy crap, you guys, I just shot a dime-sized group at 70 yards. Holy crap, that shoots as good as my scout. This thing shoots as good as my scout, you guys. One-third the price. Let's do it again. I'm going to click over one. Darn it. We nailed it exactly in the center. Uh, that was a double bullseye. It's still a pretty awesome group. Check it out, that last group was also a dime size center to center, 68 yards away. Not quite as good as that one, but actually it's deceptive because these are the same size group. So you got a almost center to center right there. We come up here and this one is three centers, but it's like within a few millimeters away from the exact same size as this one. So 70 yards, come on, man. There we go. These are antique targets that are auto reset. So what I would do was I would shoot them, shoot them both, then hit the bottom one. Hello. And then this little guy, this is actually from the 1930s, made by Crossman in the 1930s. Those guys have a little eyeball you can see, barely see, but that has rings around it on the reset paddle. Same sort of deal. Well, not exactly the same. These click down. And now they're spring-loaded. Ooh, they pop back up when you hit that guy. Hit him in the head. That chicken's definitely headless, but I think I'm going to have to do a center mass on him. Try each one in the head. Forgot I was hitting a little bit to one side, so I'm gonna aim right there. Smacking these things with a lot of power. Oh yeah, that took him down big time. That one I, I greased it up too much, so it's gonna be popping back up. Wow, I'm gonna have to graze this guy. Here it goes. You should know that'll be coming back up easy. Oh, look at that. Pop that right up. Oh man, dusted that guy. Now this is like a solid one inch right here. Oh man, that was awesome. You can sit there and shoot those all day. All right, let me go switch my camera. I'm getting 100 shots per fill, so this should be pretty easy. Just drilling these targets at 70 yards. Headshot on Sasquatch. Oh man, took him right down. Some power right there. What you call a smackdown. Groundhogs one more time. Oh, that one. I dusted him, but he popped back up.
And if I cheat over to the, I'm not quite sighted in. Cheat over to the right a little bit. Oh, yeah, I run out of air. This thing's awesome. Wow, this guy took a couple good shots right there. Look at these direct hits and headshots. 68 yards away. I'll just let my video speak for itself. Obviously, I love the Factor RC Sniper. It's got top tier performance at an affordable price. All right, everybody. Till next week. Happy shooting. We'll see you on the next one.